Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Julie and I'm an adult doll collector. Today I'm gonna to be doing a box opening. I received this doll just right now in the mail. It is from Ashton Drake, as you can see from the label on the box. I already started the pre-unboxing before I started the video. This is the most recent photo contest winner. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous doll. I was so excited to get. This is Paris by Ping Lao. I think she's the eighth photo contest winner, but when I saw her, I couldn't resist. Ashton Drake does really, really small dolls most of the time, which I have a lot of them, but I wanted to check this pretty baby out. I had seen a dolly friend on Instagram that had her, uh, got her delivered, I think around Christmas. And so I was able to see what she really looked like, which is great. Um, her head does turn, I can feel that right away. Her face is definitely not as like squishy uh, on the surface that most of the Ashton Drake dolls come as. But I love this doll size, guys. Most of the dolls are like a preemie size, which isn't very realistic. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull her out. We'll set her up and take her hairnet off. All right, guys, so there she is. She's really, really pretty. I definitely see this baby as a boy or a girl, really. She does have three-quarter limbs, like all Ashton Drake dolls do. She has this little neck plate, which is nice because you could put lower cut things on him or her. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna keep this doll a boy or a girl. Uh, in real life, Paris is a girl and is a very sweet baby, beautiful baby actually, which is why I wanted to buy the doll that replicated the baby. I definitely see both. Uh, and it, I think it's what's making me feel that way is the colors are very neutral. She came in a really cute onesie with just some simple little bunnies on it. She came with no extras, uh, no shoes, and uh, just some gray little pants and there is a little bit of a ruffle and a pink bow to add a little feminine touch, but other than that, it is pretty neutral of an outfit. So I can say from an outfit perspective, the way she came, and I know this was a, a photo contest, so they did replicate the doll to look like the baby in the photo. Her size is amazing, I love it. She's definitely the size more of a newborn or zero to three months. I love her little side glance. The tone of her skin is really beautiful. It doesn't have an odd discoloration. I have gotten African American dolls from Ashton Drake and even Paradise Gallery. Sometimes on the skin color, they just don't do as great of a job as I think they might be able to. Sometimes it can come over kind of gray or green and She's definitely got nice tones in her skin. She's got really pretty golden and blushing, as you can see. Her side glance is adorable. I'm a huge fan of the side glance. That's what steals my heart about Daddy's Little Girl from Ashton Drake. So considering how big she is, I have a feeling she wears zero to three months just looking at her. She's pretty big. I will put her next to a couple of other dolls to kind of give you guys an idea of how big she is. So that kind of helps gauge her size. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out some outfits and let's redress her and have some fun with her. And I'll be back to show you a couple things. All right guys, so I pulled in Daddy's Little Girl so you can see the size difference. And Daddy's Little Girl is 18 inches and Paris is 20 inches. So even with the size difference of only two inches, the scaling, the size of the head, the size of the hands. The details on her is really, really beautiful. Ping Lao actually did a fabulous job on this doll. I like to see the evolution of dolls now that I've been collecting a couple of years on, you know, the more recent dolls, how they get better. Her eyebrows and detailing on her face is fabulous. She's really, honestly, the best Ashton Drake doll I have ever come across. I've opened a lot on my channel. I've opened a lot off camera and definitely the best Ashton Drake I have ever had. I have some contenders and some runners up that are my favorites that I think quality wise, you get a lot of bang for your buck. This one is the winner for sure. Look at the dimpling in her hands. I mean, great, great detailing on this doll. Really cute. I like her feet. Um, the details, and I love how the hands are open. 
She does come with armature in her, so she's poseable. And you can see her hair is rooted and curly. I will have to kind of let the curls out and style her hair. I will do that today. I'm going to dress her. I have a couple of options I pulled out and I have all my dolls dressed pretty fancy. So I pull out this really pretty dress that I've had a while. I bought this second hand and I can't remember the store, but I did do a haul and show you guys when I bought this. So I thought the shades of brown and mauve would look good on her. So uh, I pulled that out. This is a larger size. I think this size is three to six months. I thought this color would be beautiful on her skin tone and it does look like it would be. So this is another option I pulled out for her. This one is adorable and fun. I love the shoes on this. I'm not really into black right at this moment on my dolls, but I love these shoes and I wanted to put this outfit on a doll I've been wanting to. So this is another option I pulled out. And then I pulled out this kitty dress and I got this I think at Ross. Really super cute. It's kind of a fuzzy, comfy material. It has shades of coral and teal. And I mean, you can see right there that is super pretty on her skin. So I actually really like this. I think it's really super cutesy. I love kittens, I love cats. If you guys know me, I'm a big cat person and I think it'll be cute on her. I have these cute little white fuzzy boots to match. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this on her. I will need to pull out some bows to fix her hair. And I don't like to do a whole lot with my doll's hair, but I am gonna fluff it and let it out. So, um, and I'll find some cute little hair accessories to put in. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. All right guys, so that's what she looks like dressed down. Again, I showed you her chest and neck plate. It's not really chest, I think that's more of like a neck. Again, the armature and she does have the three quarter limbs. This is one of the better bodies I've ever seen on Ashton Drake. I'm not a huge fan of their bodies. Her legs are jointed, so that's definitely a new style body. But yeah, she's a nice big size. I'm really, really pleased with this doll, you guys. She's a little bit higher than some of the dolls they have, 129, 139. She's at 149.99, so she's just at the 150 mark. Her size actually makes her worth it, I think. And again, the best Ashton Drake doll I've come across so far. So happy with her. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her dressed, guys, and then we'll work on her hair, and I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. And that's what she looks like. I thought this was really cute. I have a whole box of these colored clips and I started with two piggies on top of her head. And then I thought, wow, you know, I should do a few of these cause they're adorable. Look at that. I didn't wet her down. I did use a comb to part her, but I could have done a, probably a more defined job, but for the sake to get this outfit complete, I just kept moving through. I did give her a really pretty bracelet and she is holding one of my little passies I had ordered and it's really pretty. It's a rose gold passy. It does have a reversible magnet for my dolls that do have magnets for passies, but I actually like a lot of my dolls not to have a passy straight to the mouth. So I'll a lot of times just position it in their hand like I've done here with Paris. She's a beautiful, beautiful doll. This outfit is like super cute on her. It is a little big. This is a size six to nine months, but this is what's cool about a doll this size is she's pretty versatile and you can make different sizes work on her. Newborn would likely fit her the best. I would imagine the snuggest zero to three would be fine on her. Three to six even, this one again is six to nine. And I bought this outfit with my Maddie Reborn in mind, my Maddie by Bonnie Brown. So this is actually her outfit, but I thought it would be cute on her. So the boots look cute still wintery and fuzzy the colors complement her gorgeously isn't she just beautiful you guys i love these colors on her she is phenomenal great job ping lao such a beautiful baby so i did want to pierce her ears guys but i would like to dress her a little bit more again as i mentioned when i was unboxing her i can see this doll being also made as a boy for those that like making their dolls out to be boys which i do i have a lot of both in my collection boys and girls so i don't want to permanently pierce her ears yet until i've fully decided how i want to keep her i think I am going to keep her a girl. I did have intentions to keep her a girl. 
And girls, hey, let's just be honest, guys. They're just more fun to dress. So that is going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of this beautiful doll, Paris by Ping Lao from Ashton Drake. Phenomenal, phenomenal baby. Please, Ashton Drake, if you're hearing this, make more dolls this size on this body. This is a great doll, one of my favorites, and I've unboxed so many, and I have so many Ashton Drake dolls. She's definitely number one. Based on her size, the way she looks, she's phenomenal. Those of you out there that have her, I'm sure you're having a lot of fun with her. Those of you that ordered her, you got a lot to be happy about when she arrives. And those of you that are on the fence about ordering her, don't hesitate. This is a great one. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk with you later. Take care.